Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Evans and I am the Pro Audio Product Manager for Olympus. I come to you today with a fantastic new addition to the overall Olympus Pro portfolio, which now brings a new dimension to the professional audio lineup. This training will help in establishing baseline knowledge of the Olympus Dictation app and serve you better in educating your end users. With that being said, let's talk about how to first of all obtain the app. First, you want to contact your administrator to get the license and set up Olympus Dictation for your iPhone Android. The app without ODDS license will be available to be obtained from the Apple Store or Google Play. All that you have to do is simply type in Olympus Dictation in the search for either the Apple Store or Google Play and it will instantly pop up. You can then download at that time. Next, the administrator will then notify you with the following to activate your smartphone. First, the URL to activate the smartphone, dictationportal.com, a user ID, a smartphone password, email address of your smartphone, and last but not least, you will then have access to the URL with your smartphone and complete the setup by entering the connection information to the Olympus Dictation Portal. Now, with that being said, I'm going to zoom out and show you exactly what the app looks like on my iPhone 5. You can see it has a microphone with Olympus Dictation on it. You're going to simply click on it. It's going to bring you right into this simple interface. Um, the app is set up intuitively to allow for simple user interface. It includes a record button, a play, fast forward, reverse functionality, a new button allowing the user to instantly start a new recording, a level meter which indicates the volume of the recording which then turns into a waveform on the interface when completed, the ability to edit the author and the work type for controlled documentation, a priority button up top in your right hand corner as well as a photo option as well right next to the star option. At this point, we are ready to dictate into the recording. I am going to play the part of a physician doing a medical examination. So at this time, you can see my screen. I'm going to hit the record button and instantly start recording my dictation. Examination of the cervical spine shows a full range of movement actively and passively in all directions. There was no muscular tenderness. Flex and extension of his lumbosacral spine was full. Straight leg raising was full. There were no other marks, scars, or bruises, and no inappropriate responses. At this point, we can then play the recording back. Of the cervical spine shows a full range of movement actively and passively in all directions. There was no muscular tenderness. Flex and extension of his lumbosacral spine was full. Straight leg raising was full. There were no other marks, scars, or bruises, and no inappropriate responses. So at this stage, we also have two components, which we mentioned during the WebEx uh, previously. You have an insert option which is right here on your top left side of the screen, and you have your over option. The insert option allows you to keep your previous dictation, but add additional dictation um, in front of it. So at this point, through my dictation, I additionally want to add in that I am Dr. Evans, and it is October 2nd, 2013. So at this point, I'm gonna do my recording. Dr. Evans, October 2nd, 2013. I'm then going to re rewind this, play it back. Dr. Evans, October 2nd, 2013. Examination of the cervical spine shows a full range of movement actively and passively in all directions. There was no muscular tenderness. Flex and extension of his lumbosacral spine was full. Straight leg raising was full. There were no other marks, scars, or bruises, and no inappropriate responses. So at this point, I feel confident with the current dictation that I have. I now have the availability to go in and change my author name. So typically, you try to keep it consistent. Um, this is my 13th dictation overall. You also have the availability to change the work type. Um, this is preset by your administrator. You can add up to 20 different work types. So you can see here that my program administrator has um, proctored in some work types. I'm going to choose the Olympus apps for this demonstration. So I feel confident with my dictation. I now would like to give it a high priority star in the top right hand corner, which I just did. And at this point, I want to go in and edit my metadata as well. Now the metadata function not only allows you to also set the priority, the work type, but also add a comment or a picture. So if I want to type in a comment, this is a simple note to my transcriptionist. 
So I'm going to type in immediate transcription, like you see here. At this point, you can add a photo. I'm not going to add a photo at this time, but I'm simply going to exit out of this, click done, then go back to my settings, and you can see this bottom right hand button here for sending. I'm currently hooked up to the ODDS server. By clicking send to server, I'm now going to start the sending of the dictation file through to the ODDS. Click my folder option in the bottom left hand corner and now you can see my outbook. It is currently waiting to send. You can see the dictation name, Bran0013, October 2nd, 2013 at 9.59 a.m. We have 19 seconds of dictation that is currently sending at this point in time. It has a priority status and we will just wait until it exits the outbox um, showing that it has sent. So at this point in time, you can see the dictation has sent through the ODDS server. You can see Bran0013, the previous dictation that we just had. Now we can go in. If I want to review this file, simply just hit play. Dr. Evans, October 2nd, 2013. Examination of the cervical spine shows a full range of movement actively and passively in all directions. There was no muscular tenderness, flexing and extension of his lumbosacral spine was full, straight leg raising was full, there were no other marks, scars, or bruises, and no inappropriate responses. So at this point, I, I can then go back to my Send button. You can see you have a search functionality as well. You can search via the author, the work type, priority setting, um, all different kinds of options in order to find your dictation files. You also have a few different um, functionals that are built into this as well. So if I want to go back out and you can see my little um, button in the bottom left hand corner of the side of the screen, I simply click on that, opens up my me metadata file again, I then click on this little star icon in the bottom right hand corner. This is going to pull up my setting options. Now your setting options, you're going to have two different functionals in order to send a file. You're going to have via email, or to server. Now in the non-licensed version, you're gonna simply only have via email. But with a license to the ODDS server, you're now gonna have both applications available. And like we mentioned before, to server is gonna have your automatic encryption, it's gonna have your metadata all tied into it, as well as the ability to connect to the ODMS system. With that being said, we can go down through the setting options. You have recording format, you have a DSS and a DS2 capability. So I currently have my administrative function for the DS2 application, which I just sent an encrypted file through the ODDS server to my backend ODMS administrator. You also have your Bluetooth option, which allows a lawyer or physician to use hands-free dictation for if they're driving in the car or currently working on other applications. Um, it's a nice function to add into our current setting options. You also have your microphone sensitivity. For low sensitivity, you need that for your simple dictation, which is one-on-one -on -one with your smartphone. If you want to do a conference recording application, you can turn it up to that high microphone sensitivity, and this will pick up voices from a far distance away. So with that being said, we can exit out of your microphone sensitivity. Next up, we have your VCVA. This basically is used for conference recording. Um, it picks up on any time that a voice is heard, but it will not pick up on background noise. Um, so if someone is speaking, it will pick up that noise, but once there is dead space, it will not pick up any recording whatsoever. The next option is a push to talk option. Now, this basically means that when I go back out to my front interface, go out to my front screen, I'm going to click the new button for a new dictation. And then all that I'm going to have to do now is simply hold in the record button when I'm doing my dictation. My name is Brandon Evans. I am the pro product audio manager for professional audio of Olympus. And then the second I release that button, it's going to go into your um, audio file above and we can go back and we can listen to it. My name is Brandon Evans. I am the pro product audio manager for professional audio of Olympus. Now at this point in time, we can go back to our settings. 
we're going to turn our push to talk option off. You can see my administrator has pre-set up my author type, set in as Brandon. My work type lists were set up on the back end, which we mentioned earlier. And we also have um, the availability to change the keep sent items. So you can see here, you can keep it up to one day, three days, one week, two weeks, last month, or always. So you can set up this file to either eliminate your audio settings immediately after the dictation is sent, or you can keep it for up to one month on your iPhone application. Now you can have your on launch show for a new recording or a listing of recordings, as well as language types. You can change your language types uh, to an ample amount of different languages. So I'm going to set that back up to English at this point in time. Go back out. You also have the option to click on to a use a Toshiba flash air card, which is sold separately of the application itself. But what this application does is once I turn it on, I now have a remote Wi-Fi activity that once implanted in your DS7000 or your DS3500 can now connect up with your smartphone. So you would take your dictation files immediately from your DS7000, connect it to your smartphone, transfer it, and then immediately send it through the ODDS system while utilizing your smartphone application. This is a fantastic feature for a physician or an attorney who's constantly on the go and needs to immediately route their files back to their backend administrator or transcriptionist um, so they can continue you know, utilizing their billable hours. I appreciate your attendance on this walkthrough of the iPhone Android application and I appreciate your time and effort. Thank you so much.